So inside tonight we have got Piri and Tommy. Hi guys. How are we doing? Oh my god, thank you for coming down. I was so, so gassed when I got the email. I was like, oh my god, yes. Because it's weird. It was like a full circle moment for me. I actually DM'd you, I think maybe like two months ago, asking for the MP3, a soft spot. I know. And then I got the email and I was like, oh my god, yes. Look. So, how are we? Lovely. Can't go Slightly wrong. Late, but we try our best. Oh no, don't be silly. You're absolutely <laughs> fine. So, for the people who haven't heard of you before, and it's just crazy if they haven't at this point, really. <laughs> did you want to do like a little introduction of yourselves individually? Uh, well, we're Perry and Tommy. Um, <laughs> we make <laughs> we make loads of dance tunes. Basically, I make the beats. Uh, Perry, aka Sophie, mm -hmm. does the singing. Yeah. The yeah. glorious, glorious top line vocals. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we are, we just released our single Beachy, which Second has been, single. which has been, big out, shout out Radio 1 for, for them spinning that, mm, you know, they've been, um, they've been behind it. Yeah. But yeah, we're just making like all kinds of genres of dance music, basically. Lovely. We've got, um, a lot more to come. Mm. Very nice. So yeah. how did you like start making music individually before obviously you starting to create music together? So I was like kind of like a very casual songwriter basically i'm like really mediocre at guitar <laughs> yeah so i was just always like you know four chord kind of like trying my best um and it was just like really just like a hobby kind of like expressive because i was like doing a chemistry degree that was like kind of my main focus mm. and i didn't know anyone in music so i didn't really think it was like a possibility to like get into music until meeting tommy in manchester and like he was a producer and it's like whoa i've got like beats to sing on now that is so yeah, nice. Yeah, so it really just like came out of nowhere for yeah. me. Yeah. But you'd been doing it for ages. Yeah, I've been doing it for a lot longer. So I was like an indie kid, you know, massive into Chili rocker. Peppers. Yeah. So like being in loads of indie bands. Um, but then I remember getting like a Mac, Mac, big Mac when I was like 16, 17. Mm. And then um, I, I was also like going to like house parties. My older brother's like taking, taking me to all these house parties in Essex. So I was like getting into like dance, dance tunes like drum bass, jungle, garage. And I started like wanting to make dance music for myself. Mm. Um, also, like trying to combine like the guitar and stuff yeah. um, with that. And then um, yeah, we we met. And then <laughs> <laughs> I remember Sophie being like, "Come on, then show me how you make music." Yeah, I tried to. <laughs> I'd never known like a, I'd never seen like the process. There's so yeah. many things you never even like consider unless no, it's you like, true. know a producer or something. Mm. It was like so. I saw him like moving the mouse around Logic, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> Couldn't look away, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you find the crossover between obviously making indie music to making like the drum and bass that you make? Oh, um, well, yeah. I mean, you were kind of always I, spinning both places. Yeah, always, always yeah. trying to like, you know, I've, I've, I, I, you know, I've, I love. I've always got time for like filthy stuff, you know. Always got time for wubs, <laughs> but then like I'm well into jazz. So, yeah. Like, anything that's got some nice changes going on I'm also down for um, so yeah I was just like um, I remember listening to this guy called Channel who's from Manchester and he made like it was the first time I've like heard drum and bass that had like proper like disclosure vibes yeah mm. you know what I mean like synthy mm. sort of vibe, like liquid almost like um, so like liquid drum and bass was like this the really kind of um, bridging the gap between getting all the musical elements and like the up, um, yeah, fast as fast as hell, drum and bass. <laughs> Huge Can't <subs>. go wrong. <laughs> so th th that was kind of what clicked for me yeah. with the drum and bass um, sort of and the indie crossover, um, and then obviously with Sophie killing the vocals, we could make something. something yeah, proper, I was like, a, I just started liking dancing music in like second year of uni because. Mm. I went to like, I didn't really enjoy like clubbing that much, so just yeah. like generic clubs, like Lancaster's really dead anyway, where I went to uni. <laughs> and then some of my friends took me to like a dance event and I was like, this is so much better, oh my God. So I really started, and then like through like my dissertation, all I was listening to was like lots of tech house, just like blasting it. The nice little like leeway into actually making that kind of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. started on the dance tunes. That's so sick. So obviously Soft Spot is the song that changed the game for you, Ooh. really. 100%. What was the experience like when you very first started going viral on TikTok? We were both just like so, there was like a month <laughs> straight of us both being like mind blown like every day. By it is, it is insane. Like the first two weeks of it being out were like very quiet. Like mm. it was just kind of chill. Like our, we had like a disco single before and it was kind of like doing the same thing. And then there was like someone made a TikTok making like a Japanese bench. 
so random, but just it blew up. It's got thing. like a million million like views on TikTok, oh and then God. I think people just see the sound and save it, and yeah. then just like when they're looking for a sound, they just like whack it on. And around the same time, Spotify started backing it and putting yeah. it on playlists as well. And so well, I don't know, we were just like shocked yeah. every day. It was crazy. There was one moment where we were on a train to like Manchester, and then you accidentally like played soft spot out of your phone. Yeah. And there are these two girls like sitting behind us, and then they were like, "Oh yeah." Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> that must feel so surreal. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! It's when you hear like the real life situations, like someone messages like, "Oh, I've just been at a party, and your song was on at Prees." Yeah. I was like, you can like start, start <sighs> imagine like, "Oh my god, it's one of those songs that was just on at Prees." Yeah. It's like, it's, it seems so unreal. It's a dream, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Because that's what I said when I got the email. I was like. Obviously, they was like, oh, like, do you want them to come on your show? I was like, well, yes, like, the song is literally in my daily rotation. It's oh, absolutely oh, insane. But, like, I must have heard it, obviously, on TikTok at first. And mm. I was like, that's a banger, like, absolute banger. That's the thing, I love drum and bass. But, like you said, it's such a different type of drum mm. and bass. Mm. It's, like, such a new wave. Yeah. And it's just, it's just, yeah, something like the, completely the different. The girly, like, dreamy vibes are really coming yeah. through these days. Shout out to, sick. like, Pink Panthers, obviously. Well, she'd be shouting you out. She's a fan, <laughs> isn't she? She's a fan. Yeah, she dropped a comment on one of my That's so lit. That's so sick. So obviously, off the ginormous success of that release, you released Beachin', which mm-hmm. we just played. What's the response been like to that so far? Oh, like Yay. crazy as well. Like really we were cool. kind of like, felt a lot of pressure to follow up Soft Spot. Mm. Yeah. Right, so we were pretty pessimistic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, oh God. We're always hard to ourselves. What's going to happen to this one? Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's been it's been awesome. Good. Pe- pe- people digging. I think people it's hitting more it. like the chill people. Yeah. Chill crowd is loving this one. I'm I'm glad that we're showing. We we've, we've really got a massive mix. Yeah. Like yeah. all our unreleased tunes look so like in BPM and vibe. Yeah. All all like happy though. We don't really have much like sad <laughs> stuff. But like that's what we like. Summer's coming up. We need that happy, that good music. Yeah, yeah. That's what we need. We definitely make summer music. Yeah, for sure. So leading into that, you've announced that you're going on tour in April. Mm-hmm. So you're in Birmingham, Manchester and London. Mm-hmm. Which one are you most looking forward to? Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. That's hard. <laughs> well, like, Manny's my hometown, so you got to love it. You know it's going to be good. That's the thing. My brother's lot. bringing all his Asda friends. Love it. <laughs> the yeah. colleagues are coming down, so that's going to be lit. Um, but yeah. London's going to be huge, though. Yeah. yeah and London's we've cool. never played in Birmingham. So. No. All yeah. three. All three of them. <laughs> See, the London one's in XOYO, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good venue, I will say. So I'm for that. That's gonna, it's going to be I've heard sick. there's a big rig. So. <laughs> that's all you need. You're happy, you're sold. That's all you need. It's like. got a checklist and it just says big rig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. That's it. Yeah. So as well as being Radio 1's future artist, wow. congratulations, by the way. Thank you've you got know. festival bookings coming up in Belfast, Leeds, Bristol, and more. So the question is, if you could do a live show anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Oh, my gosh. Oh, what? Like, Tokyo. it's like your dream. <laughs> Tokyo, yeah, let's go to Japan. That'd be funny. Yeah, let's go to Japan. Well, that's where it's all started, I suppose, isn't it? Someone was building a Japanese bench and, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, and take it back. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, we could do. Right, yeah, so we... if there's any event promoters from Japan listening, you know, I've seen a few so. like, Japanese tweets about our songs, so there's a few fans at least. That's so <laughs> bad, isn't it? Oh my god. Always searching ourselves. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm always doing it. Yeah, so I do as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw a little yeah. snippet yesterday on your story of something a bit funky that you was working on. I know. What, what could have worked a bit more? Was, was it the one that I posted? Did it have like a dancing Spider-Man gif? I think it did, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah right, that's a yeah. brand new one I just wrote like the other day. Can we mm-hmm. hear any info about it? Or is it just completely um, still in the works? I don't know. We're, we're literally like cooking like so just much everything it's Constantly. crazy these days like we're, we're really getting to perfect now yeah um so yeah it's like it, making the songs it's like well the creative side is like pretty like seamless for us but then yeah. it's like finishing that takes forever yeah mm. i feel like it's like every creative can relate to that yeah it's true to, like, <laughs> no i just want to start something new instead <laughs> Basically, that's what we've been doing. It's not yeah. perfect enough. I can't release it. Mm. Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. But <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Right, so you have sent over a couple songs as well. Mm-hmm. So I got you to send over three songs each. So we're going to get into them first. And I want you to tell me like a little bit about why you picked them songs. Yeah. So who wants to start? I'll give you the choice. Uh, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go first. Go which on, song, right. song? Let's start with this one because I have played it on my show before. Oh, I love that tune. Yes. <laughs> that is just, so uh, Tommy showed me this tune, basically, and it's just like, it is literally like top line goals. I just like, <laughs> <laughs> I just love like, obviously it's a remix as well, so 
it's, yeah, it's like yeah. vibes but the top lines are just so sick it's just like inspiring it keeps hitting you yeah. with fire hook like Fire hook and then the but they're all just like one. so bouncy and it's like different it's great okay well if you're listening they have already sold the song to you so i don't need to give <laughs> it any promotion whatsoever we're going to get into one of piri's picks which is sunship a friendly pressure but it's into the sunshine mix let's go Okay, so this is the last pick of yours, Tommy. Mm. And it is a seven minute song, so it's gonna be <laughs> the last song that we played tonight. <laughs> this is Adam F of Circles. Why did you pick this one? Uh this one I think is I mean, I've played what I thought was the, one of the best garage tunes. But here I am playing <laughs> what I think is one of the best oh. jungle tunes. <laughs> um yeah, it just has everything. Yet again, it's like ridiculous breaks, ridiculous bass, um some some mad song. Um, and I, yeah, I think I think I I wasn't there when it came out, but when it did, <laughs> I think it changed the game. <laughs> as From I've what been, we know, as I've been told by um, <laughs> yeah, my dad's old mates. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Before we get into this one, we're gonna obviously finish up. Did you want to let the people listening know your social so they can keep up to date, where they can see you next? Any good information? Oh yeah, I should say. So the tour is the 26th, 27th, 28th of April in Birmingham, Manchester, and London, Lovely. respectively. Um, come on down, hear all our unreleased tunes. Mm-hmm. Is that what you say? Yeah, just dance, dance yourself silly. Everyone go mental, give you party. Um, and then on Instagram we've got, it's I think peri.and.tommy. Alright, we've got that. Lovely. And then yeah, there's links to all our other socials from there. So. Yeah. <laughs> and everything that you need to know about the tour and the, the different festivals you're playing, everything's on your Instagram as well. Yeah. So make sure you go and follow them. Thank you so much for coming no, down. Thank, it was thank you for having pleasure. us. Oh, it's, it's been, been so nice. <sighs> Absolute pleasure. Let's get into this one, the last one of Tommy's picks tonight. Oh my god, it's an absolute banger. This is Adam F with Circles. Yeah. 